Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I want to thank you guys so much for all the birthday messages, all the birthday love on social media. It meant a lot to me, okay? I definitely enjoyed my birthday. Thank you to everybody who came to my surprise party. I was definitely shocked. Anyways, I had to take a full day off, okay, yesterday. I was going to shoot some videos, but I was just too damn tired, okay? But I'm back to spill some more tea, and I know some of you guys are upset because the hair and nail tea are all gone. The men's tea is gone. We are restocking. Everything will be back this week. So have no fear, it will be here in a few more days. Thank you to everybody who ran out and bought the tea. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Yeah, I've been sending me all types of pictures. The tea that I'm sipping on today in this cup right here is my wellness and digestion tea. If you guys have not tried that out, feel free to buy it. For all your tea sipping needs, go on to lovelytea.net, okay? And for people who want more information on the men's tea, who want to know the ingredients, all of that information is also on lovelytea.net as well. Anyhow, so I'm here to spill some tea. Y'all been asking me about all this damn Cardi B drama, okay? This girl's always involved in some fuck shit on the internet. She always feels the need to prove herself to random strangers. I just don't get this shit, you know what I mean? Anyways, if you guys don't know, Cardi B and Offset, they decided to post a picture of themselves the other day. Supposedly, Offset gave her a push present. And a push present is supposedly something that guys give to women after they give birth to babies. I, this is some new shit, okay? I'm old school. I'm used to, you know what I mean? You, you, you have your child and y'all celebrate amongst friends and family. All this showing out shit on social media, I'm not down with it. That's why I don't care about them gender reveal parties. I thought a gender reveal party was just a new form of a baby shower, but guess what? It's two different damn parties. So I got to bring you a gift for the gender reveal and then turn around and get you some shit for a baby shower. Y'all got me all the way damn messed up, okay? This new generation, y'all just do shit to show it off on social media. When I was damn growing up and having a baby as a damn teenager, I didn't get a damn push gift, okay? Damn it, when I had my child, okay, I was a young teen mom and I got a damn laundry basket full of free shit, okay? That was my damn push present for me and my ex-husband. We didn't get Lambos, but you know, whatever. It's a whole new day and age, okay? So anyhow, Cardi B goes to social media. Her and Offset are sitting on top of these Lambos. One's blue and one's neon green. And, you know, that's her push present. Then supposedly she claimed that there were all these haters. All these mysterious people were going in on them. And they were accusing them of leasing the cars. You guys didn't buy that shit. You guys leased it. And instead of Cardi B living her best damn life and not giving a fuck, instead of her going back in the house to go breastfeed damn culture, she decides to post a video addressing the haters and showing her Wells Fargo bank statement, okay? This entire situation is a hot damn mess. And shout out to Pop Crave. They jumped in my DM the other day and they sent me a beautiful birthday message. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, honey. And yes, lovely tea will keep on spilling this tea, okay? That's what I do here. So anyhow, they sent me a cool message, but Pop Crave was one of the few people on social media because I wasn't there, honey. I was busy celebrating my damn day, okay? They recorded the video of Cardi B going off on social media after Cardi B got drugged for posting her bank statements, her Wells Fargo statements, and basically addressing all these anonymous, faceless haters, she tried to delete the video. Delete all that shit! Delete all that shit! It was too damn late because Pop Crave, they captured that shit, okay? Anyways, go ahead and check out this video of Cardi B ranting and raving, honey, like a lunatic, trying to prove some shit to people who aren't even in her damn tax bracket, okay? Go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Like a bitch is broke like why why would you say that my cars are leased me and my husband we don't we don't lease shit around here but you know what since you try to play me let me you know what I'm saying? you know p 
pink slip, pink slip, you know what I'm saying? And I had to cash out completely because I don't have a fucking license. But I don't give a fuck. If I'm going to rap about having a Lambo, I'm going to own a motherfucking Lambo. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about eating halal, driving a Lambo. I got to buy me shit because I don't like to rap about fake shit that I don't go through. So, bam. Girl, but Kalis, you are doing too damn much, okay? You're starting to look like Tiffany Haddish out here, okay? Homegirl, you talk too much. You never shut up in my damn Kaya voice. Making videos and crying and telling all your damn business. Oh. Hush! You talk too much. Homegirl, you never shut up. Goddamn! <laughs> Yes, Bacallus, a.k.a. Cardi B. Why are you always out here telling all your damn business? Why are you out here constantly trying to prove shit to people? People who don't damn matter any damn way. And in my personal opinion, I understand her feeling like she got to keep it real. You know, they spend 500 grand on these Lambos. Yes, they can afford to do it, but honestly, that wasn't the smartest move, okay? Because when you're buying a $250,000 car, something like that, you want to lease, to be honest with you. Something that expensive, especially that's that high maintenance you talking about tags and insurance and everything else she doesn't know where her career will be in the next few years something like that you definitely want to lease okay something that's tried and true that's easy that's good maintenance that you're not going to have a lot of issues with the parts aren't you know scarce to find like a damn lexus okay things like that is what you pay for in cash things like that is what you you know you get a car note on but a lambo High-end cars like Lamborghinis, Maseratis, you know, stuff like that, you lease those. Because when it's said and done, you can give them right back to the dealership because as soon as you ride off the lot, it depreciates in value super quick, okay? So to me, you're bragging about some shit, but you're bragging about it not even realizing that, you know, you paying cash for that, that wasn't the smartest moves because the maintenance on a Lamborghini is no damn joke. And she better hope that them damn checks keep on coming in, okay? Now, another thing is, how you gonna brag about having two Lamborghinis, but you still don't have your license? I'm gonna need you to do better than that, sis, okay? You too old to be out here, you know what I'm saying? You're a mother to not be a licensed driver. I understand you grew up in New York. You really don't need a car in New York because y'all take the subway every damn where. I get that. But now you're not living in New York, okay? You're living in a house. You're living in a residential area. I believe she might be in Atlanta. I'm not sure. But you're in a residential area now. There's not subways every damn where. And you damn sure ain't getting on the damn subway being Cardi B, knowing that millions of people will recognize you instantly and something could happen. You sis, you need to go out here and go get your damn driver's license. This is damn ridiculous. This entire situation is not only ratchet because she's showing her personal information, her bank statements and everything else and then got the nerdy spending 60 bucks at the damn Waffle House. Who the hell is still eating at the damn Awful Waffle House? Their damn sanitary score is always low as hell. Y'all know about that damn sanitary score if you live in the damn South. I've never seen a Waffle House with a damn sanitary score over 85%. I don't fuck with the Waffle House. The last time I ate, I was pregnant with my youngest son. The bitch had a cigarette hanging out her damn lip because in the uh, Waffle House, well, back then, I don't know if shit done changed. They could smoke and cook. And all I imagine was her, you know what I'm saying, smoking and ashes falling into my food. I'm like, this bitch is really out here serving my food with a damn cigarette in her mouth. Ever since then, I stopped messing with the Waffle House. When I see an awful Waffle House, I just keep it damn pushing, okay? So I fell out when I saw her damn awful Waffle House purchase on her damn Wells Fargo bank receipt, okay? Cardi B, you need to do better, sis. Stop trying to prove yourself to people who don't matter. She needs to stop being so obsessed with public opinion of her and her baby's father, okay? This generation is something different. My thing is this, even if people assume that you leased your car, who gives a shit? What's wrong with leasing a vehicle? Absolutely nothing wrong. How are people gonna get mad and dictate what you need to do in your personal life? This new generation takes stuff way too damn personal. When we were growing up, you can assume what the hell you want to think about me. That is your issue, okay? Your opinions of me is simply what? 
your opinions. It doesn't define me. You know what I'm saying? It's not my truth. It's just simply your damn opinion, okay? The only time you ever felt the need to ever have to explain yourself was in a court of damn law, okay? But as far as public opinion, people's opinions in the hood, people's opinions on the street, nobody gave a damn. You know, this woman is too damn blessed to be sitting here worried about trolls and people hating on her and hating on her situation. Cardi, you are doing the most. Let it go, sis. Stop putting your business out there. Let folks think what they want to think about you. Live your best life. Put out some more music. Spend time with your daughter. Do you, okay? Because right now you're just doing too damn much. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Cardi B feeling the need to prove herself to random strangers on the internet, out here posting her bank statement, letting folks know that she paid cash for her car. Meanwhile, she has no damn driver's license. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about Cardi B's latest fuckery, okay? So go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. I don't give a shit! Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.